sleepy places. When you're yawning and nodding and flopping and ready to fall in a heap, where do you choose for a nap or a snooze? Where is your favorite place to sleep? A rabbit sleeps tight in its burrow. A bird snuggles down in a tree. A frog takes a snooze in the ooze of a pond. A rose makes a bed for a bee. Do you suppose you could drowse in a rose? Or snooze in the ooze like a frog? A cat can nap on somebody's hat. A bear curls up in a cave. A fish may dream in the reeds of a stream. A seal lolls about on a wave. Can you imagine what dreams you'd have lolling about on a wave? A swift can sleep on the wing as it flies. A horse can sleep on the hoof. Bats hang upside down from the toes in rows upon rows in the roof. If you were a bat, you'd sleep like that, upside down in the roof. A pup likes to sleep in a quivering heap with a bundle of sisters and brothers. Kangaroo joys tuck themselves up in pockets attached to their mothers. What about you? What place do you choose? What sleepy place for a nap or a snooze? A nest of cushions? A cave of quilts? A bundle of pillows? A cot? A pram? A hammock? A sofa? A box? A rug? A comfy lap? A cuddly arm? Or would you choose your own little bed with your own little blanket and pillow and kisses and stories and teddies and things and somebody tucking you in? Oh yes, we each have a favorite sleepy place. Good night.